Hello and welcome to another Dominion Discord Smash Ultimate Ladder Challenge match. This time we've got Executable 1 challenging Marcuson Executable 1 in the 10th spot, Marcuson in the 5th spot, and this should be a really good match. The the two of them played in the tournament and Executable 1 in a close match uh, that was plagued by uh, connection issues. And then uh, more recently, Marcuson challenged Executable in, I'm gonna say the, like the first challenge period, and won. Um, I don't remember exactly what the the game score of that match was, but you know, I think they're evenly matched enough that this should be an exciting set. Uh, so Executable won with the Joker only account. We'll of course be playing Joker. Marcuson unrestricted, but uh, has not played any character but Young Link. Okay, so Markson strikes FD. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I understand that. Are you sure that's a good sage for Young Link in this matchup? But all right, so it looks like we're going to PS2. Pretty neutral. I mean, they're all supposed to be neutral, I suppose, but. I was FD and neutral, like, come on. So, I would probably say that Marcuson comes into this match as the favorite, but uh, as I said, it's pretty close. Um, we did just watch Hexecutable uh, go to the wire with Volfeed, which I don't think is a particularly encouraging sign for him. Um, but that may have been more about like the Terry matchup and inexperience in it than anything more general in his play. Marcus in there really scared of the uh, potential spike coming out, it looks like. Um, super high up B, but perfectly safe since Hexecutable was nowhere near to punish it already committed to covering a low recovery. So Marcus in doing a nice job there of playing around Arsene. I'm um, just kind of sniping out with the, the projectiles and getting him off without like uh, getting hit too much at all. Ooh, that was a scary roll from Marcuson, but he does get away with it and secure the kill. We're just like right into that F smash. That was an odd thing there. Like, Executable did the Aha in the wrong direction. Marcuson was standing behind him and just sort of watched him rather than going for any kind of a punish. Just missed there, and Hexcable is still trying to find this kill. There it is. Uh, just in time for our send to expire. So a fairly sizable deficit here, but um, Young Link generally doesn't kill early, so. Joker absolutely does, uh, at least when Arsene is out, which he's about to be. Oh, never mind. 
And that's a really important kill right there. So Markson catching the landing with that up smash uh, takes the Arsene meter from nearly full to nearly empty. Uh, that's just a huge swing in the in the uh, the match. Markison is um, committing to some defensive options that are like that would be pretty unsafe were it not for the fact that Executable is committing to like covering different options. And I'll be interested to see whether um, whether Hexecutable starts anticipating those uh, like high recovery options, like that air dodge that he did there was what I was talking about. In addition to that, like really high up B earlier, he did another high air dodge at some point as well. Yeah, like that another one there with that air dodge to platform. I mean, if you if you can get a read on that, or even just potentially react to it, like it's very punishable. That one, not so much. From the far side of the stage. In the meantime, uh, regardless of that, Hexecutable has really brought it back here and got a very close match here in the last stock. Huh. Executables run low profiling under the boomerang there. Or was it an arrow? Whatever it was. Oh! Another up smash for the kill. Catches Hexecutable trying to kind of dash dance there. So Markson taking the first game. But very close, so obviously, you know, quite doable for Hexecutable. Yeah, the big thing I would want to see Hexecutable try to do is read the some of those... Not Read is probably the wrong word. Anticipate, like, but not necessarily actually explicitly read um, some of those recovery options. And then uh, be in a position, at least, to be able to punish them. Alright, so we're going to Battlefield. Markison banning Lilac in Town and City. Town and City seems like kind of an odd ban to me, but whatever. I don't know the stages are a huge deal in this matchup. I can definitely get behind banning Lilat though. Yeah, so executable already like getting stage control early on just by virtue of having Marcus on the platforms here. Not really able to turn it into anything in particular, but you can, it's just kind of illustrative of uh, the downside of being on a stage like this. I think for Marcus. Um, not that. Young Link can't do some of the same thing uh, with Joker on the platforms, but I don't think it's as effective. Both players definitely playing a pretty patient style so far in this game. Not a lot of aggression, like a lot of just sort of uh, jumping and moving without necessarily throwing out attacks. Ooh, that uh, that air dodge. I, I don't know about that air dodge. <laughs> Markson scouts it out, able to F smash and take a kill with a pretty low percentage. So nice lead for him here in game two. Our send coming out pretty quickly here, although, I mean, 
It's because Markazin's done a good amount of damage on this stock already, so I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but... Okay, this time, uh, Executable able to avoid getting caught by that up smash on his landing, but can't punish it. Hmm. Trade there. Hexecutable just a little bit late with that dash attack. Good idea. I think that was the right uh, the right thing to go for. I just couldn't quite get there in time. Hmm. I don't like the roll out of the, uh, the down air there. I think... Uh, just shielding it or spot dodging it would probably be better. I think spot dodging it would be better specifically. Uh, okay, I think that was executable giving up. Just sort of falling off the stage. Down two stocks, probably didn't feel like he had a chance to come back. I don't think with Joker that that's the right mentality, personally. Um, I think that, you know, with Arsene, you have the opportunity to just absolutely blow people up. Um... Uh, Marcus is saying there were lag spikes. Yeah, I was, I was kind of noticing that a little bit, um, but probably not as much as the players. I don't know if Markson's keeping with the same bands or just thinking about it. Alright, same bands. Lilat in town and city. Yeah, okay, Hexagutal wants to go back. That seems fine. Field. I like the variety. Hmm. I don't really like Aha as like the tech chase option there. I think run up shield would be pretty effective. Executable meant to do like jump fair, jump fair rather than a F smash there. I'm not actually sure which direction he was facing. I think it would have been a bear, which would make maybe more sense anyway. Okay, he's got to catch him this time. Yeah, he does. Another high recovery. Um, didn't catch him to the extent that I was thinking he would, like the up smash. I mean, it, was, it certainly does damage, but I, would, I think getting on the other side of him and F-smashing, or maybe just grabbing him and tossing him off stage and then trying to set up for a ledge trap would have been a little better. Alright, Hexecutable starting to mix in the counter for the first time in the set. Ah, oh, grabs the bomb. Ooh, I don't think... I assume Hexecutable didn't mean to uh, up smash there, but meant to F smash or something, because Markerson wasn't above him. That definitely did not work out for him. Alright, so Arsene out already. Again, because, mostly because Markerson has been putting on pretty much all the damage on this stock so far, but gives Hexecutable a good chance to. Get the stock off. Even things up, more or less. Ooh. Kills him with the up air. 
Pretty much every move is a kill move when our son's here. Marguson looking a little lost there on how to try to le uh, ledge trap executable and just sort of backing off, which I can't really say I blame him for. Joker's pretty hard to ledge trap in my experience, especially when he's not in our send form. Although granted, you know, my experience using like Ike is pretty different from Young Link. Oh man, that time I feel like executable kind of knew what was coming and just didn't anticipate the fact that Marcuson could land on the platform with that air dodge. Like, that F-Smash, if there was no platform there, that F-Smash would have connected. As it is, Markson grabbing a stock lead again with that up smash and looking to close it out in three games, which would be pretty surprising. Or would have been pretty surprising coming in, I guess I'll say. Ooh. All right, well, Hexecutable getting the early kill there off that F-Smash. Finally landing one of those. He hadn't really uh, been landing those, and just by throwing out a lot of them, but does land that one, and that evens it up. Um, I do think uh, he would benefit from picking some safer options in, like, the situations where he's not, you know, trying to get the big, like, landing punishes. He's definitely leaving himself open with the F smashes. That bomb is gonna go off. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Cl just very clips. Bleh, barely clips him with the uh, up smash. That's not enough to kill, but a lot of dash attack. Okay, down air will not kill. That's uh, that up smash will kill. Oh, it won't! Good DI. Wow, okay. I was sure that was going to kill. Alright, Hexecutable wisely staying in shield there, not trying to punish that up tilt. Nice uh, uh, way to cut the ledge trap pressure there from Hexecutable, but Mar nonetheless, Marcus is able to get back over and intercept him with the up air and take the set. Um, executable with some pretty smart plays in that last stock, but it wasn't enough. So, um, yeah, I mean, it did look like Hexecutable was off when he was playing full feed, and I, I think uh, that may have carried over into this set somewhat, because he just didn't uh, look to be playing to the level that he has before in uh, in his sets against Marcuson, which is unfortunate. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for this match. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more very soon. So until then.